There's my little homestead. Give a little shot of that before we get on to the serious business today. Finished this place in 98. It's been very comfortable. But, for the matters at hand, what do we have here? My little tractor. A little 641 Ford. I forgot the year. But, it's a good little tractor. No issues. On front of it, of course, is the gasifier. Which I probably, I guess I built that a couple of years, two summers ago. Got it all put together. The long cylindrical unit here is this gas fire itself. Once again, my beloved ammo box pre-cooler soot filter. And a small barrel uh, gas filter unit. It has three and a half gallons of water in it in the bottom. The gas percolates up through that, uh, through some screens and stuff to make small bubbles, then through a hay filter, and at the very top I've got a rock wool filter. Uh, here's where I pipe in for the suction. Once again, my little blower. It seems to do a pretty good job, as long as things don't get too hot. And the flexible piping coming into the carburetor adapter. It has basically two throttles that are linked. It has a, of course, gasoline throttle and a wood gas throttle. Right here is where the fresh air is mixed with the wood gas prior to the throttle. This is the mixing valve within reach of the steering wheel. And down here below, right here, is the lever which switches. It's on the gasoline position now. All you do you slip it down and then it runs on wood gas. So I'll leave it in the wood gas position because I hope to start this thing on wood gas. There's really no need to start it on gasoline anymore. I forgot to show you the size blocks that I burn in this thing. It's not a not a stick unit, it's strictly a a chunk unit. I've tried different size blocks and smaller and larger and I can't tell a whole lot of difference. I've done wood pellets in this thing too. As long as they're good and dry, it works fine. Let's see, what did I do? Okay. Go ahead and start my vacuum. Open up the little valve, which is already... Alright, now it's pumping and sucking air through the system. I can hear the water gurgling in the bottom. Gotta take off my little lighting port cap. Put it back in a minute. The whole unit is shaking from the water gurgling in the tank, the water filter. Should be good enough. Oops, let me turn that off. Leave my propane lit there for a second. Let it cook a little while. I don't know if we can see it in that. I hope we're not. Yep, it's a little red hot. Close your ignition port. Open up the air inlet. Now she's singing. Can you hear it? <laughs> and she's starting to get a little warm. Everything's cold right now. It's about 100 degrees. I'll let it cook just a minute and we'll get right back to you. 
Well, while it's warming up, there's two things I wanted to make point out to you. Once again, I've got the uh, the wooden lid tapered to fit the opening with a heat shield, silicone coated, protected from moisture, and a little heat protection from the silicone. The lid of the barrel, the filter unit, is not tied down tightly. It's only held with bungee cords. And on this other side, it's pretty held down pretty good by just the weight of the plumbing right here. Um, and when you get running, the vacuum holds it down good. But you don't want to seal things up solid just in case of an oxygen leak and you get a little combustion conditions and you don't want shrapnel. Shrapnel's bad. We're still running. She's getting really... She's cooking now. I probably can get a little... To test my flare, I don't really worry about lighting it at this point. I go by sound. What does it sound like? I'm getting a little bit of a roar. There's absolutely no smoke at all because everything is filtered. The louder the roar gets, the stronger your gas is. Probably start it right there. Turn the propane off. Turn the blower off. Shut this valve. Because you can see we got some smoke coming out. Because there's no air being pumped through the system. A little puff. But things are still hot. Which is important. Alright. Uh, got her in neutral. Switch is on. I'm going to open my mixing valve just a little bit. Things are still puffing and smoking on the tractor. Open my throttle just a little. Hit the crunch starter. I'm going to close it just a little bit get pure. It flooded a little bit. Now open the mixing valve again. Close it back down and choke it close again. Open the mixing valve a little bit. right now uh, let the uh, gas fire get back to the temperature. There's absolutely no air going through the carburetor on this thing. It's all been diverted to the front. I can prove that with this paper towel. I'll push the gas to the end watch what happens. How about that? Open up a little more. Now she's cooking. Don't need that anymore. Take her for a ride. Maybe. Hopefully. She did 
to see more of beautiful downtown Burbank, Burbank Kentucky. That's my granddaddy's old truck, by the way. Driving on wood gas. I don't have a lot of fuel in there, but it be enough for this video. There's my corn the crows did not get. Cha-ching! I'm running third gear. I've got the gas of our mounted to the front bumper which is attached to the front axle of the tractor. So every little bump that those front tires get, uh, the, track, the gas bar gets super agitated, which is good. That means that uh, it's, everything gets stirred up, automatically poked, don't need a shaker and all that stuff. My son's Hayfield, we just got yesterday. Whoa, had a puff. No big deal, we're still running. It puffs a lot more when it's low on fuel. You can feel the leaf looks a bit great on wood gas, it powers it down. That's why if you don't go and do any serious work with a wood gas tractor, you gotta use the lowest gear you got. To a point. My great grandfather bought this place in 1907. I think that's pretty friggin' cool. Headed back to the house now. Going downhill a little bit. RPMs are running, well, you can see about between 1800 and 2100 RPMs. I don't know if I've got it all open or not. Nope. I'll give her a little more gas. It's very hard to adjust the air mixture, hold the camera, and steer the track. So it's missing a little bit. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm getting back pretty close to the house. Still running a little bit rich. There we go. Setting the brake. Get our neutral. I'll do the gasoline wood gas transition again. Wood gas. Gasoline. There's a mix of both. I think it's about out of wood. It's about ready to shut down. And I'm about done. Wood Gaskin, Kentucky. Thanks a lot.